What is up YouTube? Today I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you just 3D shooting. So there's two types of shooting that you need to know. There is prefab shooting and raycast shooting. So prefab shooting is shooting a already made bullet like this and shooting it and applying force basically. Raycast shooting is and shooting an invisible line wherever it hits. So I'm going to show you both of these. Raycast shooting is more commonly used in fast paced games and then bullet Prefab is more slower paced games. So we have our script open in mono develop. So we have our game object bullet. That's just a prefab for the prefab shooting down here. We have our line renderer right here. We add that down right here to our game object. Uh, our speed for this to apply our speed and down here. Our ammo is subtracted both in prefab and raycast shooting. And our vector three is an offset, so we do not when we shoot, we don't we're not shooting in us and then out. And then here's our text for our ammo. So our shoot from here, we're just getting our our camera and just adding one so it doesn't hit into us. Our line, we're adding a, a component on our main character, and it's line renderer, so we can set things to that. Here's the ammo it's text. It's up in the left corner. It's not working right now, but whatever. Okay. So when we left click the mouse button, if we have ammo, we want to spawn a bullet, whichever method you prefer. I'm going to be doing prefab right now, and then ammo. So let me show you what that does really quick. So I shoot, and it shoots our prefabs. So you can set that down here in our shooting script. We have to our bullet, our speed, and our ammo. That's what we have to do. Okay, so now we're going to go over the... Raycast shooting. Actually, let me explain the prefab shooting really quick. So we create a game object. It, this is just a placeholder so we can assign stuff to the bullet itself. So what we want is we're going to instantiate a bullet from our shoot from here vector so it's not in ourself. And then normal rotation and then as a game object because we want to assign it to our bullet cloned. And then we want to add velocity to it forward from our camera. Okay, so that's what that does. Next, we're going to be showing you the raycast. So let me do that. Okay, so the raycast, let me explain it after I'm done. <clears throat> so when we shoot, it shows, it shows a pink line. That's where the raycast is. It's I just visualized it using the line renderer. Okay, you, you don't have to do that. I'm just doing that. So I can actually see where I'm shooting. Okay, so if we go back to our shooting script here our method when we call the spawn bullet raycast we creating a raycast hit this stores information about the hit so we can like tell where the raycast hit that's how I do the end point and draw the line so now we create a ray it's just our shoot from here and then forward standard stuff and then if our thing hits then we'll get debug something that says we hit to make sure we did and now we're going to set these two positions on our line renderer that makes it to where it draws the line okay so these are both pretty simple methods of shooting and yes we have 50 ammo if you see in the top left corner I know it's kind of hard to see there but it's really small I should probably make it bigger but that's just the ammo and if you see we run out of ammo we can't shoot anymore so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial thumbs it up and comment in the comments below what do you like me to do next so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye